The suckers were hung by treble hooks with care in hopes that a muskie soon would be there. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angly Manarchy, a Christmas edition Angly Manarchy. Mr. Colin Schlicht and I of Hardcore Hook and Guide Service, we are out casting for muskies December 23rd in southern Wisconsin. This just does not happen all that often. We have a beautiful day, a foggy day, but no wind, 33.1 uh, <laughs> degrees surface water temps. The lake actually froze up for a day or two. Yeah, we got our feelings hurt the other day when we couldn't get out. Uh, but some warmer temps have come along. Had a little rain yesterday. The lake is wide open. And uh, we I think we both have uh, Christmas parties to go to. <laughs> so we're gonna put in a, a good solid four hours here and see if we can't put a beautiful Southern Wisconsin December muskie in the boat for you. All right, folks, another day fishing muskies in December and another day throwing a Rusty's Custom Lures 8-inch fortune teller. Love the little dangly blade on the back of this guy. Throwing it on a surgical strike, 9-foot, 2020 chaos rod, 400 tranks, and fins, excess big game uh, line, 80-pound test. I have used this stuff all of 2023, and I absolutely love it. Cast amazing. Durability is like nothing I've ever used before, and it's awesome. So check out the link for fins down below. But uh, yeah, and Colin's doing pretty much the same thing up front. So we are going to keep casting and uh, yeah, see if the suckers can get us one, see if casting can get us one. We just need to get a December muskie. Oh, that was nice. Really? Oh my God, it was nice. Oh, oh no. It all came off. Mm. <laughs> Stupid storytelling. <laughs> Did you see him fl flash out there then? I could see him right here. Yeah. It's so calm, I could see him so easily. Oh my gosh. Well. Because, yeah, it is at that, so, yeah, 33.16. It's barely a degree over freezing. Fish! I don't think he's terribly big, but... Yep. Hey! <laughs> oh, and he's off. And he's off. Oh, it's a beautiful looking fish, man. There we go. Yes. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, awesome, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Got to hit a few minutes ago. Because and... I got bopped. I was like. <gasps> <laughs> Good. Awesome. All right. We are just getting started here. Colin already had a hit. And I got hit and caught this beautiful little guy, probably just right around that 30, that tournament sized fish, I like to call him, but a beautiful fish and any muskie in December is just amazing, especially when you can catch it, catch it casting. We've got two suckers out and the two hits that we've had so far are on artificials. So I'm gonna get this thing back in. Hopefully we can get a bigger one to come along. But uh, another December muskie, and I will take that any day. He's, he's got a little, little something in his belly right now, like a panfish in there. I'm gonna put him, push him forward here. I'm gonna give him a little push and just let him hang out because we're moving. There he goes. He's giving it. Little kick, there he goes. <laughs> hey. Awesome, dude. Let's get a bigger one. <laughs> Oh. 
you don't bump it on the way down. Sure. <gasps> I got one hook in his corner. Okay. So you have to take him right away. Okay. You ready? Yep. Nope. There we go. Yeah, buddy. There's a All nice right. one. That is a nice one. <laughs> yes. I could feel on the first drop just it get bumped all over the place, but nothing was there. Wow, dude. <sighs> wow. Cool. That is a nice cool. fish. Do you want to deal right. with them over here, or? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Here, we can uh, walk them around. Let me get the lure out of the way there. All right. Let's slow this down a little slow here. Let's get the sucker moving. Dude, that is a nice fish. That one little corner. All right, whoosh, thick. That was a beautiful fish, dude. Yeah. It's heavier than I thought. That's a 38, 39, probably. Oh, he might be. I think she's 40. She's probably 40. I yeah, think she's I might, 40. I might be underestimating. Yeah, I bump her quick if you want. Yeah. This is already. They were having a kind of like, how many? Yeah. <laughs> For sure, man. Oh yeah, she will be. Yeah, I was gonna oh, say I, I way when you when that. you yeah when you said thirty eight, I'm, I'm like I'm gonna have to bump this. Oh my gosh! Otherwise, no one's gonna believe me that it was forty three and a half and uh, three, three quarter. Oh, dude, forty four. The forty four. Yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, wow. I was gonna say <laughs> thirty eight, Brian. <laughs> Come on now, short change me. <laughs> Holy cow, dude! Yeah. Well, see, that's why you <laughs> throw him on a bump because. Uh... Sometimes idiots underestimate or underestimate. <laughs> I usually like to shoot for under, but not that far under. Ooh, that water's cold. Man, <laughs> <laughs> your fingers get chillier a lot quicker. There she goes. Look at that. Holy cow. Yes. Let's keep it going. That's it. Absolutely. So apparently I was trying to make myself feel better about the little low 30 that I caught. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the fog. I'll blame it on the fog. Um, that was really cool because uh, Colin felt that fish bump the bait. And from that point on, we're just really, I was watching you, just very methodical and really watching your line because when these fish hit, you do not feel much. Yeah, and you know when you're when you're really trying to make them hit on that fall, yeah. you got to make sure you're taking that line in before you go to twitch it next. Otherwise, that's when they they hit on that slack, and you know you just don't get that good hooking. Yep. So wow. I mean, what time is it? Is it even seven o'clock? What? Is, we're barely started. We've got two fish in the boat and a miss, and we're not done yet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah. That's it right there. Oh. Next time she looks 
set it, go fast and take it away. Okay. Like as soon as you kind of turn it to it, act like bring it towards you and make a, you know what I mean? Yep. Try to take off with it. I, I don't know if she might have just, she finally took off there. Those suckers are gone. She's going to eat a sucker. <laughs> No way she's gonna let one of those little suckers in her. Oh, yeah, dude. Napping. Yeah. Oh. That was a long fish. Yeah. You can see, like, when that shoot down, kind of fall, she come and kind of show her teeth, like, yep. get out of here. Did you think that one was? <laughs> Wrong person to ask. <laughs> um, like 42, low 40s? I mean, it was a nice fish. Oh, frick! I just lost one. Did you see him hit? Yeah. I saw a line hit. Oh, the tink? I, was, I actually did the dun dun oh, quick, yeah. and then I was letting it fall. Popped it. Okay. Oh, I couldn't see how big it was. We got a little musky chasing the getaway. What's that? Not it. <laughs> One, two, three, not it. Dude, look at him. <laughs> he, he. Future Pat. Oh, he is a, a little guy. Yeah. He's going to take it, though. You got a camera on that to see right off the oh, surface? Yeah. yeah, he's going to take that right off the surface. He's, he looks hungry. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, that's mean. Is that a... It's a... God, it looks like a tiger, doesn't it? A tiger it? almost, yeah. I think you have to catch it. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Yeah? I think it's a tiger. I want to see if it's a tiger. Get him back up here. Because he he had a T-bone before and then he dropped it. I think it's, that, I think it's a tiger, dude. Pull it up again. You can see it kind of broadside. That's a tiger. Yeah? No. Oh, no. No. It's a pretty little it's fish, really though. pretty. <laughs> really pretty. Yeah, we'll see them. Who? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, we had it. Did you see that? Yeah. Hang on, he's gonna come back and grab and watch this. Watch this come back. He's, he's right back here. Oh, he might go. He might go after the sucker. I should have had that fish. Yeah. <laughs> Why did he not get that hook? You moved his head a little bit. I know. I, I cannot believe he didn't get that hook. <laughs> <laughs> <That's wild. laughs> yeah, he was he was headed right back towards the sucker. I'm surprised he didn't smack him. <laughs> well folks uh for four hours in december we saw close to 20 fish it was wild every five ten minutes sometimes a few casts in a row and i you know i didn't keep a lot of it because the fish were low or they were we'd see a lot of them back on the sucker we had one little sucker out the back that we'd see them come up on but uh man we had we caught two fish had another one on i mean had chances probably at four or five all on artificials we didn't have a single fish. Well, I take that back. There was that little musky that was <laughs> playing around with a sucker, but guy. like a little 28 incher. But uh, so much fun. Um, and I don't think we're done. I think we are going to try to get out uh, the day after Christmas. Uh, so by the time you're seeing this, it's probably going to be in January. Uh, but so cool to be able to extend our season uh, into late December here in southern Wisconsin. Uh, have so much fun. If you'd like to get out and catch muskies in southeastern Wisconsin, from May till December, 
uh, get a hold of Colin. Hardcore Hook and Guide Service is his operation. I will leave all of his particulars in the description below. And uh, with that, we have to go to Christmas. Is Christmas is. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas late, everybody. It was, it was a good start to Christmas. <laughs> Absolutely. I will take it. I will take it. So uh, I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess, and I'll see you on the next video.